Hi and welcome back today uh, to Assetal Corsa. Uh, this is quite an interesting day because we are testing out uh, new pedals that I just set on my sim rig. Uh, these are the Fanatec uh, CSL Elite V2 pedals. I uh, just uh, installed them and yeah, this will be my first impressions, first time driving them. And we are di driving in Donington Park, uh, Assetal Corsa, with uh, the Porsche 911R, which is a manual transmission car and should be quite interesting to see how it handles. I hope this car has a quite a good weight distribution, just so I can feel uh, uh, like the brake better. But yeah, so first impressions. The my previous pedals that I was using right now was the Logitech G920 pedals and the throttle and clutch uh, seem a bit uh, heavier which I like maybe a bit more uh, travel than before and yeah just uh, seems smoother uh, easier to calibrate so Healing and towing seems like the pedals are a bit uh, more distance, distant from each other, but yeah, let's see uh, how much brake brakes I can apply to this car. Yeah, I can lock up the brakes, that's good. Yeah, it, the car has good weight distribution, so uh, trail braking should be possible. First impressions is I like them. I like how they feel. I like how uh, how I can uh, like mo modulate the throttle and the, and the brake. Clutch clutch handling is easy. Oh, went way too fast here. Forgot that I need to brake. I haven't driven this track for a while, but uh, yeah, I used to be pretty fast on this track because uh, I was practicing for a competition here. These corners uh, are quite hard to trail break in, but uh, yeah, let's just... Uh, yeah, the brakes are, brakes are good. I saw some other uh, videos and also like uh, what I can say here is that you instantly get comfortable with the brakes. I like uh, that uh, the brake pedal is stiffer, uh, locked up a bit here but I think only one tire. Yeah, the pedals are good. <laughs> uh, can recommend them to anyone. I like that uh, the brake feel. Uh, it's uh, very progressive. Uh, I was a bit worried uh, that uh, the spring would like uh, be quite soft and then it would just hit these elastomers. But you can't really feel the moment when. Uh, when the spring stops and when uh, the elastomers engage so yeah quite happy with that that that, that was what i was hoping for and in my my opinion for this price these are the best pedals that you can get to be the most competitive it's it's hard to beat these Oh, again, break too late. Yeah, one thing that uh, I can mention is that uh, uh, how I attached them. I used uh, for the bottom part, I used uh, uh, these uh, uh, slot thingies. Uh, that I had uh, that came with my al aluminium rig and I just slotted them uh, underneath the pedal uh, like this and uh, then put the screw 
uh, through the bottom of the rig with with uh, this uh, thingy on it I don't know what what's it called spacer or what just makes the thing a bit wider and more co contact area and yeah uh, I just noticed that uh, on the bottom of the pedals uh, they have these like grooves also which uh, I don't know if you can see it here but but yeah it uh, has like uh, small grooves on the on the side and uh, they align perfectly I think it, I think uh, they were made made uh, to to like accommodate these uh, things that come with aluminium rigs so um, I didn't see that in other videos I just wanted to n uh, make it uh, how to say uh, uh, inform about it uh, in this this one in this first impression and right now I only tighten <laughs> them with two screws uh, one on each side uh, like on the bottom but they seem to be holding up uh, good uh, I just wanted to have them uh, like uh, as far as away as possible and this was the way I could do it but yeah maybe if I like uh, rearrange a bit my steering wheel and uh, and yeah maybe if I can move my seat a bit back I can I can uh, screw more more screws in the pedals to make them even stiffer but they don't flex at all and they don't move with the two screws so <laughs> right now this is like a temporary solution which might which might uh, stay for a while so uh, what else I wanted to say uh, yeah that uh, you need to like manually calibrate the uh, throttle uh, in Fanatec software which I saw so also I think in another video I can't remember which because uh, by default when you get the pedals out if you if you press 100% throttle uh, it gets to 100% uh, uh, before you 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 reach uh, the maximum like uh, uh, maximum uh, uh, before you press it all the way down it's already on on 100 uh, percent in the software so you have to kind of calibrate a bit uh, it uh, the top you can do it in the Fanatec software you will understand uh, what I'm <laughs> trying to say when when uh, when you just uh, open the software and press the throttle button down you you will see that even before you you press it all the way down yeah uh, the the input will be already on 100 so you kind of need to calibrate it and that's about it other than that the pedals work really good and I'm happy with them so uh, that's kind of it for my first impressions, but uh, let's try to set a fast lap maybe before we go uh, To do that we need to enable laps Maybe we can have Delta also Is it Do we have Delta? Yeah performance Delta And yeah, let's try to set a fast lap I don't know how our tires are doing, but let's try to warm them up during this lap. Healing and towing also works fine. I'm doing mostly drifting, uh, but I thought that uh, this is uh, the best uh, best way to test pedals uh, on a track where you need to heal and tow but in drifting that should be also pretty good right a bit late here so this is the default setup without ABS or traction control for this car let's see what we can do here Okay, I need to brake mu much later. I'm braking uh, on points where I used to brake with another car, with the E36 that I was practicing. 
but I need to break it in earlier because this car is a bit heavier a little bit of oversteer could have braked with left foot there Yeah, the car ro rotated very good, but but yeah, everything is super controllable with the brake. That is what I like. Some fighter jets going over the track. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, we messed this one up. But that's okay. Let's try another lap, maybe. Our tires should be warmer now, also. Let's break in time this time. Try not to lock up the tires. Maybe I would, maybe I would set the brake pedal a bit less, a uh, uh, bit more sensitive, so I don't have to break, uh, press it this hard. Because, yeah, healing and towing and pressing the brake pedal that hard is not easy. Ooh, way too late, way too late, way too late. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I think we're still good to, to try to set a fast lap. We have mechanical damage off, I believe, so, so the crash doesn't matter that much. Easy on the throttle, nice. Let's break a bit here. Again, could have used the left foot to break, but that's okay. A little bit of sliding, but quite controlled. Went a bit off here, but oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> a little bit too fast. So <laughs> this will not be the lap, but uh, I'm getting more comfortable with the car and with the pedals. That's good. Let's try to get the next lap, the one that <laughs> is that we are looking for. Let's stay in third, maybe. Yeah, I like the pedals a lot. I feel connected with the car and yeah, everything is Gucci. Need to <laughs> need to improve my driving a bit, but that's okay. This time we use the left foot here, that's good. Lot of sliding. Oh, well, that's okay. Small lift. Fastest lap so far. Could have maybe stayed in third.
Yeah, definitely would would reduce the. the brake force a bit. But yeah, that was a lap uh, around Donington. 1 minute uh, 46.1, definitely beatable, so if you want to try to beat that you can uh, do that. This is the default 911R, ideal conditions, track conditions and default setup of the car, nothing changed. Same tires, same fuel amount, everything. But yeah, the pedals are good, happy with them and uh, yeah, hope they will last me a long time. And yeah, if you're looking for new pedal set, I, I can definitely recommend these. I did also have a uh, 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 Thrustmaster T-LCM pedals before I sold them uh, because uh, they kind of were fixed to the previous rig that I had so I had to s sell them with the rig and these are quite similar concept but uh, I would say the difference uh, uh, they are quite similar because they also have hull sensor for gas and, and clutch and uh, load cell for the brake. But I would say the difference is uh, uh, that uh, they are a bit stiffer, uh, they feel feel a bit more well made, they don't flex uh, that much. Uh, you could feel some flex uh, in uh, the uh, T-LCM pedals, like also side to side flex in the pedals, but these on these pedals I'm trying to grab, grab them with, <laughs> with my with my uh, uh, foot now and trying to uh, move them side to side and they are not moving at all so yeah quite good feeling also I'll, I like the uh, rubber dampening when you release the pedal it doesn't make that much noise so if uh, noise level around you while sim racing is important and this is this is quite good maybe not perfect but uh, pretty good uh, I think on the T-LCM they, they sounded a bit harsher when you just release them quickly uh, you could you could hear hear the noise of them hitting like uh, the back more and also a difference is that by default the brake is uh, just the way I like it, the, the, way, the way I try to uh, get my T-LCMs, I bought uh, like uh, aftermarket elastomers to replace uh, the springs that came with the T-LCMs to elastomers and then, the, then it was a bit too hard and other people that uh, were driving my Simric, they kind of sometimes complained about that, that the brake is a bit too hard like but still you could like uh, mod modulate uh, the brake force quite good but this is this is just the way i like it like uh, it has a little bit of travel but 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 very controllable i i would say quite quite a bit more noticeable uh, the level of control that you have on, on this brake compared to the t-lcm brake but yeah, that's just my personal opinion. I think uh, both both pedal sets are pretty good, but I would say this one is worth the extra. I think approximately 100 uh, euros or or 100 dollars. I think approximately these are 100 more than the T-LCM Thrustmasters. Just just because of the way they are built and uh, yeah. Uh, I would say the load cell is also uh, the brake pedal feel is also much better but that's my personal opinion uh, I I think this video might be the most uh, useful for people who are uh, looking into these pedals and yeah if you're on the edge of buying them or not then I would say go for it <laughs> but yeah that's it from me for today Ubu signing out peace and have a good day